see if Moto releases Sport 4 seat side by side. See if Moto releases Can Am Renegade Killer C Force four wheel drive sport four wheeler uh, 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 could it be is it true let's go look uh, see if moto USA.com Come on Come on Come on ATVs Come on Renegade Killer No Okay Four seat Side by side oh, No oh, It was a dream all right guys sorry to disappoint you but that definitely was a dream uh but it's okay to dream right uh we are always thinking about what is to come uh what cf moto could release in the near future uh but by the way merry christmas to those of you that are watching this the day that i upload it um i'm filming this now on christmas eve uh so merry christmas and i uh, hope you have a great day with your family but uh, anyways uh just to talk about a few things, I thought it'd be fun to make a video. I, I made a post, uh, and I'll throw that picture up right now, of uh, a four-seat uh, Z-Force. I just took one of my one of the pictures of my Z-Force when I put the cryptids on it, and uh, just kind of played around with it and tried to stretch it out on my phone and make it look like a four-seater. And man, to be honest, that thing looks pretty sharp. Uh, it, it could make a sweet one, but. Some of the comments, uh, we had a lot of good conversations about that. Uh, first of all, one thing, uh, I understand that that may take a while because I know that CF Moto is uh, having a hard time keeping the cost down on shipping and a four-seater would be such a huge crate uh, that it would, uh, it would cost a lot more as far as shipping goes and I know that that's a big hold up. Uh, I haven't heard of any rumors of a four seat uh, sport side by side from CF Moto yet, but look, I have absolutely no uh, connections or communication with any CF Moto people besides Main Street Cycle and all of you guys uh, on the CF Moto Facebook pages and stuff like that. So uh, I don't have any kind of inside scoop. Uh, so most of you find out stuff quicker than I do, but. Anyways, um, um, one thing that I have heard of uh, that could be in the works right now, and I've heard many of you talk about it, is a uh, bench seat uh, U-Force 1000. So uh, it would be kind of similar or a lot similar to the six-seater Ranger from Polaris or the six-seater Can-Am Defender. So uh, that I've heard that that is in the works. So hopefully, you know, they maybe they'll release that in the 2022 lineup. Uh, so maybe we'll start hearing some more rumors, a lot more about that next year, uh, kind of in the summertime or something. Uh, we're all looking forward to the Seaforce 1000 uh, that's uh, supposed to be coming. At, on the website, it still says spring of 2021. Uh, I, for one, am definitely planning on getting my hands on that. It's the Seaforce 1000 Overland. I, I really want that. And you know, I, if you follow the channel, I have a 2020 Seaforce 800 that I've kind of, you know, done my own work with it alongside Main Street Cycle and kind of made that into my mud machine that I've put, entered in mud races and do a lot of mud riding. So I would really like to have this Seaforce 1000 Overland and keep it just like it comes from the factory and just rip that thing on the trails. Let that be my good trail riding machine. I'd even like to take it for what it's made for, to go out camping, uh, take it out to the local uh, camp and uh, do some fishing, 
camp out in a tent and stuff like that. So I hope I get the opportunity. I'd like to be one of the first ones with it so I can get the content out to you guys and tell you how much uh, I like it and how awesome it is. It's got to be awesome. It's going to be a, just like the 800, just a lot more horsepower and uh, it's got some sweet looking tires and it just looks awesome. So can't wait to get that. Also, I know that uh, for the spring, we're supposed to be getting a U4 600. It's going to be a bench seat style, but it's only going to have like a, it's, it's a two person capacity. Uh, it's a small section there in the middle. You could probably throw a kid right there in between two adults, but it, I think it's only going to have two seat belts. So uh, it'll be recommended for two people. I'm pretty sure. Can't wait to see that. As soon as it comes to Main Street Cycle, I'll be there. I'll get you some content, walk around footage. We'll put them together and we'll show you what they're all about. Uh, so really excited about the things coming in 2021. Um, really excited because I personally really want that Seaforce 1000. And uh, my wife is itching for us to get a four seat sport side by side. But CF Moto doesn't have anything for us there yet. That's why I kind of played around and made that sketch. So uh, pretty cool. And uh, one thing, I'll tell you one more thing. And then I want you guys down in the comment section Tell me what you would love to see in the future with uh, CF Moto. Tell me your favorite machine. If you could have, if money wasn't an option, what machine would you like to have over any of them? It may be the very one that you've already purchased, or maybe you're shopping around now and you'd really like, uh, say you bought the 500 and you'd really like to get the Seaforce 1000 when it comes out. Uh, I'd like to know that. Just, it'd be a fun conversation. Uh, or if you have a four-wheeler and you wished you had a uh, U-Force 1000 or Z-Force 950, I'd like to hear those comments and we'll have some good conversation down here in the comment section. Um, also, uh, I, real quick, one more thing I'd love to see. Of course, I'd love to see a four-seat uh, side-by-side that's uh, 64 inches wide at least. Uh, long travel suspension. I'd love to see it up there in the 18 inches of suspension travel or more. Be awesome to see that thing with some Elka stage three at least stage three Elka suspension. Uh, see, I love the clutching that's coming on these machines. Uh, so I, I know that CF Moto and CV Tech clutches will do a great job on that machine. Uh, I keep hearing a lot of you talk about this. KTM motor that uh, supposedly is going to be pumping out 130 horsepower uh, naturally aspirated and uh, I can't wait to see that. I don't have any inside scoop on that. There's some of you that know more about that way more than I do. So uh, sounds like there's going to be some awesome things in the future. 130 horsepower without uh, a turbo. That's going to be impressive. So uh, I'd love to see that in a sport side by side. And yes, some of you commented on my picture and said, man, the turning radius would be awful with a longer wheelbase Z Force 950 setup. And uh, yeah, you're, you're right. If they wouldn't, I would definitely hope that they would change some things in the suspension and get it to where we can get a better turning radius, especially if we stretch it out and put two more seats in the back have a longer wheelbase. We definitely need to work on the turning radius of that setup. Um, like I said, I'd love to have the suspension travel 64 inches wide at least. That way we could compete against the Razor XP 1000 um, and then like the 64 inch Maverick X3s. That would be awesome. Uh, we, I can't imagine how good the four seat would rock crawl and hill climb and stuff like that. You see uh, Joel and David from Main Street Cycle, they do an amazing job hill climbing, uh, rock crawling, that kind of stuff with their 950s with the short wheelbase. It's so balanced. The engine is placed just right there in the right spot uh, with a good space in between the uh, rear, uh, The what am I trying to say here? Oh yeah, the rear differential. There's, it's just balanced so well. Um, I really love it. Uh, you, you, you can hit them straight up hill climbs and not worry about it tipping back over. But uh, anyways, 
I'd love to see that. And uh, ground clearance is a big deal with me. I would love to see them come out with, you know, at least 14 inches of ground clearance, uh, if not more. So 14 would be great. Throw some 32s on it, get it on up there around 17 inches, 18 inches of ground clearance. That way the rock crawling, hill climbing, you'll have no problem. Uh, so that would be awesome. One more thing I'd love to see. I, I know a lot of you talk about it and that's on the CF Moto C forces. Uh, once you step up to the V twin, so the 800 and now the 1000, uh, the only configuration you can get is a two seater. And a lot of you want that shorter wheelbase. You want that, uh, single seat configuration with the big power and i'm right there excuse me i'm right there with you i would love to see that as well uh i would i would buy one in a heartbeat um because <clears throat> i feel like you'd be able to uh you know do wheelies easier you could uh be a little more nimble in the trails uh that'd be pretty awesome i, I would really love to see them come out with something to compete against the Can-Am Renegade 1000 uh, or the 570, whatever. Um, right now, the cream of the crop, the top of the line, ATV, if you're right, racing GNCC and stuff like that, your top dog just right off the showroom floor where you don't have to do anything with it is going to be the Can-Am Renegade 1000. Um, so it would be really cool to see CF Moto take uh take the c force 1000 chassis figure out how to shorten it up and shed a lot of weight to get it down there below 800 pounds to be closer to that 700 pound range of the can-am renegade uh up the horsepower some get it up there closer to what can-am and the player sportsman uh not the player sportsman the player scrambler um, it'd be neat to see CF Moto compete in that category. I, for one, would love to have one and, and show it off and put it up against those machines. Uh, but who knows? It's fun to think about. I enjoy this stuff. Does CF Moto have a great lineup right now already? Yes, hands down. I love it. All the way from the entry level, the C Force 400, the 500 is uh, probably the best value out there with it coming off the showroom floor with some nice tires, nice looking rims, a winch, uh, power steering. That's a sweet setup for an excellent price. You just can't beat it. Uh, you've seen us just, uh, especially Joel and different ones on the channel, Nicholas, uh, they, they have a Jaden even with his 2019 500. We've put the thing through its paces and it holds up great. And you saw in a video earlier that uh, Joel went back with another C Force 500. So that, that's awesome. Uh, the C Force 600 is the best looking ATV straight off the showroom floor without having to add uh, tires and rims and stuff like that to it. I think the C Force 600, hands down, best looking machine out of all the other ATVs on the market. That thing is sweet looking. The C Force 800, I, I love it. We have two of them out here in the shop. Um, we have my 2020 model and uh, my wife's 2021 model that we're keeping, you know, bone stock. And uh, we love those machines. But uh, I would like to see uh, a sport uh, four wheel drive from CF Moto. That'd be pretty cool. But yeah, let's uh, have a good conversation down in the comment section. A lot of cool stuff we could talk about. It's fun to just imagine what is coming in the near future. Uh, it's, it's cool to see those things and to talk about them. But anyways, if, if you're trying to call Main Street Cycle in the next few days, they are closed for the holidays. They closed, uh, they closed before Christmas Eve and they will be back open January 4th. So be patient if you're trying to call them for parts to order your old MSC oil change kits, clutch kits, whatever you're trying to get, you wait and call them uh, January 4th, January 5th, uh, between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. and they'll be able to set you up, hook you up, and uh, they'll take care of you. So 
just keep that in mind. But uh, other than that, I uh, hope you're having a Merry Christmas. Hope you have a Happy New Year. And there's some good stuff coming your way at Real Talk Power Sports YouTube channel. Thank you for always watching. Hope you give this video a thumbs up, share it. Let's have some cool conversations about what could be coming in the future. I'm really proud of CF Moto and the success they have had uh, in the 2020 year, uh, as well as what they're going to be having in the 2021 year coming up. So exciting things, more to come. Stay tuned. God bless.